Understanding Protective Charm, a guide to English phrases. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, protective charm. This phrase is not just about the words, but about the culture and history behind them. So, let's dive in and unravel the meaning together. Protective charm is a compound noun made up of two words, protective and charm. The word protective is an adjective, meaning something that provides protection or is intended to protect. Charm, on the other hand, is a noun that historically refers to an object believed to have magical powers to ward off evil or bring good luck. When combined, these words form a phrase that refers to an object used to keep someone safe from harm. The concept of a protective charm is not unique to English-speaking cultures. Many cultures around the world have similar beliefs in objects that provide protection. These charms can be in the form of jewelry, amulets, or even symbols. Understanding this context helps in grasping the deeper meaning behind the phrase and how it connects to broader human beliefs and traditions. In contemporary usage, protective charm can be used both literally and metaphorically. Literally, it may refer to an object believed to have protective properties. Metaphorically, it can be used to describe anything that a person believes gives them comfort, strength, or protection, even if it doesn't have actual magical properties. This metaphorical use shows the flexibility and creativity in English language usage. To fully understand the use of protective charm, let's see some examples. She wears a locket as a protective charm. In this novel, the hero carries a protective charm given by the wise old sage. I always carry my lucky pen as a sort of protective charm during exams. I hope this exploration of the phrase, protective charm, has been enlightening. Remember, language is not just about words, but the stories and cultures behind them. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more interesting insights into the English language. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.